What are your thoughts on forbidden knowledge? I know that the story of Prometheus and the Secret of Fire and a good number of Star Trek episodes address the dangers of knowledge given before it is earned. Usually the knowledge is treated as harmless by itself, but in the hands of those that have not learned not to tickle the dragon by its tail, it could prove harmful or fatal. Thus, the knowledge is forbidden to entire races until they have proven worthy. Yet, then there is knowledge forbidden because it is a threat to those that know. Knowing what God looks like doesn't have potential danger. Exodus 33, 20 would seem to indicate that no mere man may see God and live. That's just the passage that I was going to cite when you were uh, when, when I started reading this question. Uh, yes, right. This is where you can only look at the back of God. I mean, the Hebrew suggests like you can only look at his backside, basically. Um, seeing anything more will kill you. On the other side of things, we have plenty of Lovecraftian stories of people seeking knowledge that man was not meant to know. The more knowledge is accumulated, the faster the descent into insanity. Warhammer has similar stories. In modern day, I see a lot more people interested in mental illness than the causes of the mental illness, whether we're talking trans finite numbers and levels of infinity or if we're talking about social media influencers. But I don't think uh, anyone would deny there are social contagions, mental illnesses uh, that are contagious and seem to be spread by word of mouth. Plus, I know that I have found that any knowledge that could be displayed on a scoreboard for my marriage is toxic and better left unknown. That is a, a piece of wisdom right there. So maybe the knowledge is only dangerous to one or a certain percentage of people, but if it can be distributed to millions of people, perhaps it should be forbidden. So it seems like we may have knowledge that is forbidden because it is classified and could result in harm. We have knowledge that is forbidden because it is harmful, and we have knowledge that should be forbidden because of how infectious it is and how harmful it is for those infects. What are your thoughts on these kinds of knowledge? Well, um, okay, so I think I will stand behind. I, I'm going to say a thing, and then I think I'm going to stand behind it. There is no such thing as knowledge of truth, which is forbidden full stop per se in every context. Anything that is true, I think, can be fruitfully known um, under the right circumstances. But as you indicate in your question, there are many circumstances under which knowledge that is true could nevertheless be only partially understood, could be destructively wielded, um, or indeed could be uh, corrosive to the person that is knowing it. And this is like, uh, Garrick says, you can't handle the truth, right? So this is like, you know, we all know that kids should not know details about sex. Uh, no child should be taken aside at like the age of four or whatever and told intimate details about how babies are made. Um, and why is that? Because it is that knowledge uh, is destructive to them because of the capacity of their minds, because of the nature of their thought, right? Um, knowing about that would ruin them in a big way and would, uh, it would cripple them. Uh, growing up, and they would have to do a lot of work to undo that damage. Um, and yet, when the kids reach a certain age, it's actually urgent for them to know the, the essentials of sex, right? The mechanics of sex, to know that it's a good thing. And that's because their brains haven't yet developed to incorporate that knowledge. Um, and I suspect, although of course I can't know because I'm a man and not uh, an angel, um, I can't know this, but I suspect there is all sorts of divine knowledge uh, that is hidden from us for precisely this reason and will be revealed to us once we have developed beyond the resurrection to a sort of semi-angelic angelic state. Um, and so when God hides his face, uh, which, which the angels can look upon, right? Um, when, when, uh, you know, they're, when the, um, angels in revelation seal up certain books, right? For, for John not to read, um, all of these things. And, and, and when in, in revelation, there is a book that only the Messiah can open, right? The, the, all the angels wail, right? Uh, who will be strong enough to break the seal and open the book, right? Only the lamb. Um, and so there must be ascending levels of knowledge, it, just as there are ascending levels of being, right? That go all the way up to God. Some knowledge that is intimate only between God and God, right? Between God and, and, the, and the Son, the Father and the Son. Um, and it's, it, I certainly suspect that one thing demons might do when they cause mental illness, as indeed I believe sometimes they do, um, is reveal to us things that are, um, you know, that are perverted in a sort of demonic way and that are not appropriate for our level of development, just like somebody tech talking to a kid about sex. Um, and, and so, yeah, I definitely think this is real. I also think, by the way, right, that when Paul says we shall judge angels, right, when, when we have seen things in Christ that even angels stoop to try and see, um, that means that we do have a being, right, um, which is, in, which is uh, 
eventually such as to develop to a point where we could know all sorts of mysteries that are that are too advanced and, and crazy for us to think about you know lewis has an analogy where he says like the pleasures of heaven might be so great that people don't have sex and when you say that they can o you can only imagine a deprivation like oh no i'm not gonna have sex in heaven but he's saying like maybe let's like when you sell a kid like when when adults have sex they don't eat chocolate and he's like no chocolate sex sounds awful right like you can't if you can't have chocolate during sex like why would you ever do it? Um, and it's like, you know, the, well, because when adults are having sex, they're having a pleasure that is of a completely different kind at a totally different level of being um, than chocolate. And they don't even think about having chocolate, right? Um, and, and, and I definitely think that like all sorts of those kinds of knowledge exist, but I don't think there are kinds of knowledge that are true knowledge that we as humans, you know, will never be, could never possibly be enough to know, except those, some of those divine mysteries that are between God and